Hello, welcome back to Engineering Sound. In this video tutorial, I will explain how we can convert drawing to KML or KMZ. Sometimes we have drawing with the local coordinates which is not set on the UTM coordinate. So for this purpose, we are not able to convert it to KML and KMZ. So first of all, we need to know about the drawings that this drawings is located for which area. But for this purpose, you need at least one coordinate or one latitude or longitude for the location. So we can easily find the area by the help of Google Earth. So once we get the location of the drawing or place of the work, then we can easily convert this drawing to UTM coordinate by the help of align command. So what we will do, let me turn on the image here, then we can see that we have one coordinate for this drawing. Okay, so let's turn on the image. Now we can see that we have one latitude and longitude coordinate. So we will, so by the help of this latitude and longitude, we can search the location of the drawing. I already located this coordinate. I will explain how we can just do it. So I will explain how we can do it easily. So let's jump in Google Earth. I will open the Google Earth. This is our location. So for this purpose, if you want to locate your area, you just need to select here. Make sure for the coordinate. Now this is in the easting and northing. If you have a latitude and longitude, you need to go to the tools from here and just select on option. From here, you can easily change any type decimal degree, decimal minute, second degree. So as in which format you have the one coordinate you need to select the same one and you can easily search it from here okay i already searched my own location my location is here so for this purpose i will just check the what is the zone here we can see that 44 q the q is a divider it's not a zone so it's mean that this is 44 okay so now we can see that we have this image so from here we will just select two points for example we have this one point here okay we will just select this one point here and we will select one point here then we will align is in our drawing so for this purpose i am jumping in the global mapper okay so here we will just create two points of coordinate so for this purpose if you need to get the coordinate just select go to the option from here and select from here utm utm option utm you can see it here second last so just click it once it's set you need to create two points for example i am going to create point one here let me select the point one so this is our point one we will just select this corner for this point and we will give the point a and we will save this coordinate in a as a csv or txt file so i already save it just copy copy this sting and nothing and paste in any excel or word file so just click it okay and next i am going to enter in one other points let me just select here the another point let me search it okay let's say this house corner okay just click here and drag it to the this corner to this house so just select it as a b okay once you select as a b just click it now you can see that your two points is created successfully so i already save these points as a csv file let me select and show it to you just go to the autocad civil ready Adobe Civil 3D and from here we will import the same points we have these two points as you can see okay we have point point a and point b easting and nothing so we will import it you can just enter one by one or you can import it very easily okay so we already save our points as a csv file we are going to on a new drawing new window from here just turn on any window close this old one okay we have this new window we are going to import our points from here just go to import from here point creation tool and click on this import button next click on this csv make sure that your file is closed this csv file should be closed then if it's not closed it will give you error here so just click on and click on point and asking from here you have an asking and northing and elevation and rod inspection so just click on ok once you click on ok you need to click enter z space bar or e space bar or you can just double click on your middle button and the mouse you can see that you have this point so if you want to change the point style you can just enter p type okay just press enter from here you can just change the point type and you can change the point size from here so easily so just we have these two points now we will just go to the drawing and we will just select the drawing turn off this drawing turn off this image 
we don't need this image just turn off from here and just select it and click go to the clipboard copy you can just copy it and paste somewhere here near you can just paste as a block even just paste as a block here we have this point just select and enter al command a line from your keyboard al for a line so it will ask you in the command bot that select first specific point first point so this is our first point we need to turn on this option you can just turn on this what you need to require note okay so just select this first point from here click here and click on this first point for the align and next you need to select the second point for example this is our second point let's say it this is our second point maybe it will not correct 100 percent because i'm just explaining the method but this is the easy math and press enter once you press enter it will ask you that you need scale so you just click on yes we need as a scale now you can see that your drawing is and now uncoordinated so for this purpose now the next step we will save this drawing as a dxf just export this as a dxf you can see the dxf option for here as a dxf 2013 18 no problem no matter just save it go to the desktop and select kml kmz file and save it is in the same name and press enter it will give you this error but no problem just okay and next we will open global mapper okay go to global mapper and and select it okay now you can see that your global mapper is on you can just open data from here you can just go and open from here so click here so from here we just need to go to the kml came file here this is our drawing just click ok open it will ask you this option so click on ok now we need to set our coordinate system it's utm yeah definitely it's utm and here we can see that we have this 44 east northern hiroshima okay this is our zone it's okay the zone is selected automatically because our drawing is now on the original coordinate before our drawing was on the local coordinate keep it mind that if your drawing is on a local coordinate it will never convert to the kml kmz in global mapper because it's online source and it's online uh, automatically selected your zone so once it's on utm coordinate system as we align the drawing to the utm coordinate system then you're able to create your kml and kmz file this is the plus point you need to remember it so click on ok now you can see that your drawing is here 100 percent now is the last step we need to convert this to the kml kmz what we need to do go to the file and go to the export option from here we have the export option we need to go to the export vector format so we will just click on this once we click on this we can see a lot of format here so on which format do you need you need to select what i needed as a kml kmz to see in global mapper so click ok once you click on ok there will be a lot of option you don't need to change anything it's same as it is okay just click on okay now it will give you the option where you want to save this file so we will just save in our kml kmz file you need you can say that we need to just select two, two, 2023 test file okay so just click on okay once you click on okay it will save automatically let's go to the file and open it okay 2023 test kmz file is here just double click once you double click now you will see that your file is open automatic you can see that we select the file point here but it is going to this option because our point was here okay this was our point you can just change it okay our coordinate was for this point that's why it's here so you can see this is our b point and this is our a point we pick for this corner so easily you can create kml kmz by using this method so it's very easy only you need to make sure to make it as per the utm coordinate system don't forget to click on like share and subscribe for more such informative videos thank you take care bye bye